Hey guys, Deepo here. Welcome back to the channel. I hope everyone's doing well. So, today's video I'll be showing you how to get basically the best ships right out of the gate as soon as you start the game. No excuses, guys. A lot of you guys were saying, oh, you know, it's easy to go and do space battles when you're high level, but when you have a starborn ship, it's hard. Okay, so let me set the baseline straight here. Very hard difficulty. We are currently level 5, right? In terms of skills, I got nothing here. I started with the Bounty Hunter trait. Then we did the um, uh, the Flight Simulator, right? A lot of people have been saying the Flight Simulator is broken post-update. You cannot milk it anymore, right? So be wary of that. What I did was I just went back and I reloaded the earlier save of this character that I'm running at the moment. Okay? So I don't know if the simulator works still or not. It doesn't matter. You can still get to a level 75 system regardless. You can go into Serpentis and load your flying skills and gain levels in the meantime. For the purpose of this video, we will see how fast we can snowball from start to finish, okay? Alright, so first things first here. Uh, we're going to come to Ptolemon. Ptolemon is just adjacent to Alpha Centauri. We need to go and get ourselves some weapons here. So we're going to drop that uh, forward. In, sorry, we're going to drop in the forward operating base. Gear up, get some weapons, get back out there and see what we can find. Realistically, all we need is a ship that can jump to a level 75 system. And then we'll go from there. Alright, ladies and gentlemen in and out just very quickly gotta make sure everything that we can get from here we keep we get and then we'll go and start our hunt okay we don't care about any of that quick save our game come here close that door Check what's on the mannequin. Nothing of value. Nothing of value. This is same caliber never light. It's a start. Whatever, we'll take it. Anything else here that we can take? Probably not. Let's make our way over to this side. Must have taken a hell of a wrong turn to end up here. Take those. Yeah, unfortunately we can't chase her away just yet cool got that no problems take some ammo from there all right we got what we needed it gave us a good um Close quote combat weapons, so I can't complain there. Everything else can literally just be dropped. Don't need that. That can stick around just for worst case scenarios, and the cut I will have. In terms of armor, don't really care about any of that. Okay, back to space we go. Alright, so we got the weapons we needed, now it's time to move on, and we will move on towards the Serpentis system here. So the best way to go on about this is, so Serpentis is where, here somewhere? Here. So we have to go down to like Olympus way. While you're working your way towards Serpentis, just keep an eye open for anything that 
um, that spawns, you could get a good ship along the way. So, jump again. So, Serpentis will be as high as you can go in terms of like these systems. Okay, cool. We're gonna jump again now. So, Cheyenne. go to Arturus. Okay, anything here? Nothing in the Arturus system. So we'll keep making our way down towards Serpentis. Anything spawn here? Nope, nothing spawn here. Shaza, it's 35. So we're slowly making our way to Serpentis. Mal is even better because Mal is level 60. So we're just going to keep moving. Guys, the way we're going to do this is going to be stepping stones, right? We want to upgrade this ship, slightly marginally better ship. And then work our way up. Okay, we're level 6 just from gaining experience from flying around. Nothing here. Alright, so we need to go down to highlight and then make our way to Serpentis. Maybe we'll get lucky and find something along the way. Maybe we won't. Time will tell. What's this? Settler? Nah, not interested. Not interested. So, Serpentis is there, Mal is there. Okay. One more jump or two more jumps and we should be at the mouse system. Alright, what do we have here? Just a shipping crate. Let's see if we can get some ship parts because we are level 5 here. What do we have? Lovely. Okay, so. We go bell and then see if we can jump again. Fingers crossed, we can, but I don't think we will. This ship does not have the jumping capacity yet. It will change it long before it ever does, so it doesn't really matter. So bell, bell system here. Nah, we, we fortunately we cannot. That's fifty-five. Mal would have been a better option, guys. Let's go to Mal. I made a mistake, I should have just gone straight to the mail system there. What is that? Deserted what? Deserted Freestyle Collective Garrison. Okay. Cool. We shall make our way to mail now. Ophian, Serpentis and then Mal, I believe. So this is my, my go-to rotation when I start a new game. Always. Always, 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 always. 
what do we have here? Colonists. We don't care about them. Naira. Always push as far as this ship can take you. The Valentine level 30, that's a crappy Valentine. We'll give him a free pass this time. Okay. What the hell? Okay, there we go. Wait, what is this Valentine in here? Oh, it's an autobahn. Um... I mean... Nah. I'll give him a pass. It's a good ship, the Autobahn, but we'll go for something better. Why is... Why is my grab disabled? I don't... I don't understand this. Does it not allow you to go to Serpentis anymore? Surely not. Surely not. Wait, what? Why? Why is this? Hello. There you are. And already... Why is it disabling my graph drive? I really can't say. It may mean nothing. Interesting. So disable my graph drive, why? Is that because we jumped a lot? Surely not. I've never had this happen to me before. Wow. Or maybe because the mysterious captain, I have to talk to him? Who knows? Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, we are now in the system of Mal, a level 60 system, and we found ourselves a Storm Rider 2. This is going to be a very tough battle, but for those that are complaining doing this with a Starborn Guardian is hard, try doing this with this piece of crap, the Frontier. So here we're going to have to either sacrifice shields for firepower or engines for shields. I'm not sure what is the correct approach here. It might take us a couple of tries to get this right, but I'm confident that we can get this done. It might take us a few tries, but we'll get there. So this is where the Starborn Guardian ship excels. It, it's very good 1v1. Anyway, so the name of the game here is to stay behind these guys and try and drain those engines. Guys, don't worry about accumulating bounty with UC. As soon as you start the, the quest line, for the when you go undercover for the pirates, they'll wipe out any bounty you may have. Okay, this is no bueno. Cheeky repair. I don't know how many ship parts we have, but... Almost there, baby. Almost there. Ah, let's get to work. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. That's how it's done. That is how it's done. Let's get it. So, what are we? Level seven and a storm rider two. We're about to have a storm rider two and a bunch of uh, credits. All right. Now, the beautiful thing here is this ship will scale with our level so I don't expect the crew to be too difficult so we got that one and that one so we got two weapons here close range weapons suppressed calibrate Grendel modified coachman nothing in there another coachman there okay take some ammo don't worry about the bounty. It, it doesn't matter. A 
she was uh, doing much ammo for that. So this will be our go-to weapon. Time being. I underestimated these guys. Hopefully there's not too much crew on board. Fingers crossed. You can also get this ship from Serpentis, because the Serpentis equivalent is to Storm Rider 2, not a Storm Rider 3. But you'll be fighting ships in bulk there, and, and you don't want that. At least here you do it on your own terms. You choose your encounters. Okay. Just gonna be a little bit smart how we engage here. Pick our battles. Okay, not all is lost yet. Ooh, grenade. Ah, uh, hello, hit please. I don't have all the ammo in, in the world to waste here. Ah, uh, seems like there's three of them left. Because I've been playing my other character that's leveled up doing this now. I keep thinking I'm invincible. Okay, we got a good hit on that one. Let's not be stingy with the meds because we'll need them. Right, let's see if this guy peeks first. Well done, Captain. All right, Captain. Show us what you got. Hmm. Is this gonna? Oh, absolutely not. At least it staggers. Okay. Radioactive Calgary Grendel. Absolute crap, but doesn't matter. We're not here for the Grendel anyway. We are here to do some work. Quick save. Two left. Running a male storm. Oh, come on. Wait, there's more of them? Surely not. Okay, that, no, that's it. That's that's them done. Can't sleep while trespassing. All right, beautiful. Let's go take the ship and then we're gonna sleep. It's gonna be quite the hefty upgrade here, guys. Quite uh, the upgrade. Let's see what we got. Let's see what we got. So, <laughs> so we had this versus that. So we swapped the 59k ship for our 387,000 ship. Got some ballistics. Excuse me, some ballistics, some lasers, some missiles. Okay, ship. Make home ship. Not sure why this game appears to be bugged. There we 
go. Make home ship, please. Thank you. And my game just crashed. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful, Bethesda. I love this new update. It is the best update in the world. Thank you so much for uh, gracing us with it. I've had 10 crashes in the past three hours. Unbelievable. Oh, man, we gotta fight these guys. We gotta fight these guys. Again. Nice. Very nice. Very, very nice. Now I'm officially out of ammo. Perfect. Let's go get this ship. And then we'll see if we can get a class C that's like... A number three. Let's go. I was wondering why um the game was acting out like you couldn't grab jump, you we couldn't make home ship. Very very strange guys. Okay, we have a new home ship now. It's not too damaged either. And the beauty is, we got all. Oh, it's turrets. Okay. Let's just grab jump first. So, what we're gonna do here is we will make our way to. We want to go Hudgens, but we got Hawking first and then we'll jump to Hudgens. So there you have it guys. It is extremely simple to do. It is not very difficult. Um, as long as you can pilot, your, sorry, as long as you can level your piloting skills, there's no issues there. And if you cannot level your piloting skills, you can still do a, a level three, a level two. All you need is the Frontier. Go and get yourself um, like a Dirge three or a... Ecliptic Stiletto 3, any class A ship that has like a 3 next to its name, fairly easy to find, they'll be able to jump to level 75 system, and level 75 systems are where all the excitement is anyway, all the best gear, all the best ships, so on and so on. Uh, let me know if you found this tutorial helpful in the comment section below, I uh, apologize for being a little bit negative, just stuff that should have been fixed in this game are still not fixed, like for example the turret stone auto fire, it's just really 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 annoying but anyways take the good with the bad and we'll go from there once again let me know in the comment section uh what you think uh whether this guide was helpful for you or not and hope to catch you next video peace